How can, I, how can I procrastinate or destroy my destiny? Real quickly, we can procrastinate, and when we do, it dulls our hearing for what the Spirit of God wants to actually say to us. Some of us have allowed procrastination to delay our decisions, and it is affecting our destiny. Some of us, it's in the, in the, the area of ministry, of being used by God and using your gifts and your talents. And, and you're, you're not doing it in the church and you're not doing outside of the church, maybe because you're afraid, maybe because of anxiety, maybe because you think you're too busy, that you're busier than everybody else. And you keep putting it off and putting it off and you say, you know what, next week I'll do that. Or I'll, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I promise I'm going to get involved. As Pastor Alex was sharing about so many different outreach we can get involved in, say, so you know what, I'm going to sign the sheet next week. I'll do it next time. I'll get around to it later. Maybe you're living in a relationship like Felix that, that you know is compromising your Christianity. And if you choose to stay there, it becomes harder and harder for both of you to hear God's voice because you're in a relationship that is not pleasing with God, pleasing to God. Some of you are, are not married, but in a relationship that you're having sex outside of marriage, and, and it's, it's hurting your hearing. It's hurting your destiny. It's destroying what God wants for you. And, and you rationalize it, you, 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 you do everything you can do to, to make yourself feel better about it, but you know deep inside that you need to get on a different path because it is hurting you. Maybe you're here and you're carrying a guilty conscience. You know you're not where God wants you to be. I mean, that's what, what Felix had to deal with daily was this guilty conscience and it held him back. Listen, some of us have to take a step of faith, but we're procrastinating. Like we heard, we hear this great testimony about tithing, about giving that 10%. And some of you for years have been saying, you know what, I'm going to do it next time. I, when I get that raise, when, when my family's more, more in order, when, when, when I can do this or save enough, then I'm going to start. And you've been saying that for five years, 10 years, 20, maybe your whole life. And you've been a Christian long enough where you know the principle, you know it's going to help spread the gospel, not just about River of Life, but it's about you, it's about who you are, it's about your character. And so you get excited about a testimony, but I'm telling you, don't say tomorrow, do it today. Write the tithe check before you leave today and say, I'm not going to look back. 